On this watch channel, I try to bring you guys the most affordable watches with the best complications. If I can find you guys a watch that offers all the luxury qualities of a more expensive watch at a very affordable price, well, damn, I'm gonna hop right on to that and bring it to you guys. Hey, I'm Chase and this is All Things Random, mostly watch reviews with some other stuff sprinkled in between. Today, we are looking at a wandering hour watch that is less than half of the cheapest wandering hour I was able to find on the market. Today, we are looking at the Alto 8 Roto. This is not gonna be the first review from Alto 8 that I've done, this is in fact my third. And the reason why I keep doing reviews for Alto 8 is because every watch that I've seen so far that I've gone hands-on with, I'm extremely impressed and extremely surprised at the quality that they've offered. The first one I did a review on was the Alto 8 Iron that was Jeep inspired, looked sort of like a Bell & Ross. I'll leave a card right here for that review. The next one was their racing inspired watch that I truly loved. It had a great multi-layered dial. I will leave a card right here and then this one is going to be a casino inspired watch and if you look at it it looks like a small roulette wheel on your wrist it is quite beautiful the quality materials they put into this watch i'm extremely surprised let's just go ahead and hop right into the hands-on review now, before we hop into all the measurements and the macro shots, let's go ahead and first talk about the packaging that it's in. It is in a lovely presentation box, all to wait on the outside. And inside is what I enjoy when it comes to these micro brands. They put a little extra effort when it comes to how the watch is packaged. When I say packaged, I mean future packaging like this lovely travel pouch that it's in. It's just one of the things that a lot of the higher end watches just don't do. Open it up and take a look at this beautiful, beautiful watch. Now that we're in the hands-on review portion of this video, I gotta warn you that this domed sapphire crystal that they use, yes, it is a domed sapphire crystal, is highly reflective here in the studio. So you're gonna see things like the camera right here and you may see some other things as I'm moving it about. This is not the same outside in the natural light. I will show you at the very end sort of what it looks like outside. Keep that in mind as we move forward. This thing has very high quality materials to include that dome sapphire crystal. Does use 316 L stainless steel. And one of the things that I do like about Alto 8 is they do things differently like these deep grooves in the case. One of the things that I've noticed lately about micro brands is they tend to use just sterile cases that are easily purchased in you know high volume that aren't any different than the next micro brand. They're doing things differently. These deep grooves are unique to them. And I really love the actual small profile of the lug to lug on this watch. We'll get into the measurement in just a second. But the high polish is gonna be more of a dress style, but they do have it on a blue calf skin leather strap that is dressy already. So it does go with the case itself. Now this is a wandering hour complication. They say that it is inspired by the casino, specifically I would say the roulette wheel. However, the wandering hour complication has been around for quite some time, and this is gonna be by far the most affordable on the market that you'll find. On this channel, I did do a review on the Atawak wandering hour. That was 1300 bucks for that watch. The next one that I was able to find is a Zurich wandering hour, and that one's a thousand, and this one is less than half of that. So I would say that you're getting a pretty good deal on this watch. It is pre-order. I will leave a link down below on Kickstarter through Alto 8. One of the things I do love about this watch, especially with the wandering hour, is the fact that they use the correct movement. Now inside is a Miyota 9036 beating at 28,800 vibrations an hour. They do use a movement that is slightly decorated. No custom rotor. I think that's kind of a fail on Alto 8's part. However, they do use more of a decorated movement, so it is quite beautiful outside of the rotor in an open case back. Anybody who's listened to the channel for 
for any period of time knows that I'm not a big fan of Miyota movements being displayed because they're never decorated. They chose to have a decorated one. Also, this movement is the right movement for this watch. There is no date on this watch, and this movement does not have a ghost date, which you'll find on more affordable watches. So it's great that they picked the right movement for the right watch. We're gonna get into the functionality in just a second. The way a wandering hour works is there's a series of satellites right here that have the hour markers and the minutes are displayed along an arc along the top, being the number closest to the arc and the arc being the minutes. You can see down here is where they rotate around. It's slowly rotating to the eight. The eight will move along up here as the seven enters the 60. The eight will enter the zero and then it will be eight o'clock. Very, very beautiful watch. A lot of people think it's complicated to read. It's actually one of the easiest watches I've ever found to read, ever. The dial on this watch is a blue enamel dial. A lot of companies don't use enamel because the enamel process is kind of harder to do than just a painted process, but they decided to do a blue gradient enamel dial. Beautiful beautiful dial. They also offer this in a green gradient and a black. Both of the green and black also have matching straps like this. So the green has a green and the black has a black. Very high quality strap. The tang and buckle high polish match the case of this watch. And uh, I can say that it is it's quite it's quite nice to see. It's not often that uh, you have a micro brand do all the right things and they did minus the rotor all the right things of this watch. Now the crown is signed, but it is not a screw down crown. Let's see if I can get that in focus. The crown is signed, like I said, not a screw down crown, but this does have 50 meters of water resistance. So you can wear it in everyday life without having to worry about water intrusion into the case. That's good to see. It does have a screw down case back, even though it's not necessary, but they have it anyway. Let's discuss the measurements of this watch. This watch is 39 millimeters in diameter, so it is the perfect size watch for the everyday wrist. The average wrist is anywhere from six and a half to seven and a half inches, and I always recommend a watch between 38 and 40 millimeters, and this sets at 39 millimeters, so it's right in between. The thickness of this watch, even with that domed sapphire crystal, is only 13 millimeters. In fact, it's just under 13 millimeters. And the length of the lug to lug, which is the footprint of the watch on your wrist, is 46 millimeters. That wears smaller than almost every single 39 millimeter watch I've ever reviewed. Every other 39 millimeter watch I've reviewed has been at least 48 to 50 and this being 46 means again it's going to fit more wrists and it's going to wear slightly smaller most dress watches are supposed to be slightly smaller anyway i mean that includes the rolex day date 36 millimeter which a lot of men wore up until yesterday and i say that of course sarcastically but that used to be the size of the men's dress watch so it's nice to have a dress watch that's going to slip under your cuff and it's not gonna be overly bearing on the wrist, but it is gonna offer a, a little bit of eye candy with that wandering hour. The lug width on this, like I said, is 20 millimeters, so you could find any strap in the market to fix this, to include a chase strap. I'll leave a link down below. However, I wouldn't necessarily recommend, even with a chase strap, change a strap because the strap matches the overall presentation of the watch perfectly. That's like changing the strap of a Richard meal or a Hublot Big Bang for something else when it's meant to go together. The design aesthetic of this watch is to have this strap with this watch because they match perfectly. Now, again, like I said, this watch does have a Miyota 9036 movement inside, hacking hand winding. Let's go over and I'll show you exactly how the wandering hour works. I go ahead and pull it into the outside position, which puts it into the function to change the time. I'm gonna go ahead and rotate this counterclockwise, and you can see that the seven is moving along the arc right there. The eight is coming up along, and as the eight is coming up along, check out this six right here. That will then move and rotate to the nine. And then as the eight moves along, the nine is approaching, the seven down here, we'll go ahead and turn into the 10. 
just like that. And it continues over and over for eternity as long as you wear the watch. Very, very beautiful. Very, very beautiful complication on a watch, the wandering hour. Let's go ahead and toss it on the wrist. Now this is the watch on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. You can see that the lug to lug, the footprint is relatively small to the actual size, the 39 millimeter diameter of the watch. So it does wear slightly smaller. And this is again, more of a dress style watch. I really do love the way it looks. I love the way it feels. It's taken a little bit to break in the leather strap because the leather strap is padded and very high quality, but that's with any padded leather strap. It has taken a little bit. So one of the things I do recommend is as it does come on a pillow, a hardened pillow inside of the travel case that it comes in, go ahead and make sure you have it buckled so that it will form around the basic diameter of a wrist around your wrist bones like it does here. Some people don't like it. They'll actually lay them out flat, but a flat strap doesn't really fit around your wrist very well. It needs to be curved. So train it with this when you get it. Very, very beautiful watch. Let's check out the loom real quick. Now this watch is not a loom monster like a dive watch should be, but it does do its job. Coming in from the outside into a dark inside of a, oh, I don't know, a club, you can read the watch just fine. Now, how do you guys feel about the Roto from Alto 8? This watch, like I said, is half the price of the Zurich, and that was the cheapest, most affordable watch I was able to find. Very, very happy with some of the stuff that Alto 8 is bringing to the table, and I'm super excited for what they are going to bring in the future. Again, the Kickstarter link is down below. It is very impressive what they were able to bring to the table in this watch. Enamel, 316L stainless steel, high polished case, calf skin, leather strap, Beautiful dome, sapphire, crystal, wandering hour complication, the correct Miyota movement, decorated movement, non-decorated rotor. But if that's the only thing that's missing is the decorated rotor, then count yourself lucky with this watch. You're not going to find anything else better on the market at the price point. Now, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment of the content you guys would like to see. This is mostly watch stuff with some other stuff sprinkled in between. I got some dive videos coming up in the future. I have a flamethrower in the mail that I will be doing a review. Everybody's seen the not a flamethrower by the boring company from Elon Musk that goes like five feet. It actually is more like a large lighter. The one I'm getting goes a lot further and it's like a third of the price of a used, not a flamethrower from the Boring Company. It's like a third of the price. So we're gonna get that in and we're gonna do an awesome review. I'm super excited about all the stuff coming up in the future. I also have a watch from D1 Milano, a true GMT from D1 Milano, beautiful black PVD coated case and bracelet. And that one's only 500 bucks. That will be the next review. So if you guys are into this channel, hit that notification bell. I have a lot of stuff coming up in the future. Also at 15,000 subscribers, if you're still here and you're watching the end, then you're probably going to be one of these people. We're going to be entered in to win at 15,000 subscribers. The Tissot PRX Powermatic Automatic watch that I am going to be doing a review on in about two and a half, three months. At 15,000 subscribers, I will be giving away that Swiss automatic watch to one of my subscribers who always comments or consistently comments, consistently likes, uh, is a subscriber, is involved in the community. You can't just be a subscriber, not be involved, and want to get these Swiss watches. It's not fair to the people who are here every single day. So make sure you guys are doing that stuff, and I love you, and I'll see you in the next one.